Hello, I'm Martina, the artist behind Martina's Fine Art. In this YouTube I want to show you how I make this realistic drawing with colored pencils on sanded paper. I've used UART 500 sanded paper, the colored pencil painting kit from Brush and Pencil and of course colored pencils. I've used the polychromos from Faber-Castell in the first layers and switched to the Pablos from Caran d'Ache in the top layers. For the background I've used the pen pastels. I put links to all of these in the video description. First I made the line drawing on a separate cheap piece of paper using a grid. Then I transferred my line drawing to the UART with blue transfer paper. For the background I wanted a deep rich black, so I layered a dark blue, a dark red and black pen pastel on top of each other. Then I used the workable fixative from Brush and Pencil and repeated the layering of black another couple of times. As you can see this is a huge project. It's an A2 size. Without the painting kit this would never cross my mind. A background on hot press watercolor paper with only colored pencils would cost them a lifetime. Well, that's a little exaggerated, but it would cost 60 to 80 hours and at least 10 pencils to get a seamless black background. Then I started with the fun part, the glass and the oranges. I roughly blocked in the shapes, the lights and the darks. I used this pen pastel applicator to blend these first layers with the powder blender from the brush and pencil painting kit. Then I sprayed my drawing with workable fixative. This fixates the previous layers and it restores the tooth of the paper. And this creates the opportunity to keep on layering the colored pencils till you're completely satisfied and to layer lighter colors on top of darker ones. For the highlights I used a mixture of titanium white powder and touch up texture. This mixture is like a white paint. I use a small synthetic brush to apply it on the highlighted areas. 
When this is dry, I can color over it. The first layers on the main subject smudged my background a little, so I put another black layer on the background with this big applicator. It looks like a makeup sponge, but it's also from Soft, S-O-F-F-T. I really don't know what happened to the glass here, the film is really distorted. But as you can see, again I started with blocking in my main shapes and then I put in my details step by step. This is much easier than working on hot press watercolor paper, where every color or light has to be planned from the first layer on. And, again, I use the mixture to give my highlights an extra punch. I guess that's it for now. If you liked it, please let me know and subscribe if you don't want to miss my next videos. If you have questions, feel free to post them below. And of course, have a nice day. Music